live in a small planet called Earth. Earth is so small that it is just like a dust particle when compared to the size of the solar system. In this video, we will try to understand the vastness of the universe and try to answer the age-old questions of whether there is life on other planets. Life is old. The dinosaurs are perhaps the most famous extinct creatures and they had their beginning 250 millions of years ago. But life begins much more earlier. The Earth itself was formed 4.5 billion years ago. Back then, Earth was a very hot planet. After 1 billion years, it cooled down and oceans formed. These oceans had many types of minerals. They combined to form the essence of life called RNA. RNA combined with iron to form a living, breathing, eating thing which now we call bacteria. They were capable of photosynthesis and convert the carbon dioxide in air to oxygen. Yeah, back then there was no oxygen in the atmosphere. These single-celled bacteria eventually started combining with each other to form multicellular organisms. The multicellular organisms form creatures such as fish in the ocean. After many millions of years, land formed and other land animals were formed from the ocean by evolution. You might be thinking, this process could have been happened in other planets too. But why does other planets and the solar system have life in it? Well, the answer to that is, compared to other planets, Earth is neither too hot or not too cold. Therefore, Earth has oceans. It is the presence of water in liquid form that caused minerals to combine and eventually form life. Other planets in the solar system have no oceans, hence couldn't form life. At least that's what we thought. For many years, scientists have been searching for life on other planets in the solar system. Many efforts were conducted on Mars which has some potentials to contain life on it. The Curiosity rovers on Mars is still finding whether the red planet ever was or is habitable to microbial life. The Perseverance rovers which is on its way to Mars will seek signs of ancient life and collect rocks and soil samples for a possible return to Earth. An interesting news has emerged recently that changed our perception of life. Scientists have detected the presence of phosphine in the toxic clouds of Venus. Now, why is it important? Phosphine is an extremely difficult molecule to make. It can only be made naturally by life on Earth or by scientists in the laboratory. There is no known chemicals or physical processes in Venus that can produce phosphine. So does that mean that there is some form of aerial life in the poisonous clouds of Venus that made phosphine? Well, either our understandings of physics and chemistry is very incomplete or life which is very different from the life on Earth can even exist in harsh toxic conditions like that on the clouds of Venus? Either way, the researchers did not discover the actual life forms but noted that on Earth, phosphine is produced in bacteria thriving in oxygen-starving environment. So that means similar life forms may exist in the clouds of Venus. Scientists and astronomers are now doing multiple experiments to find whether life exists in Venus or not. 
Okay, so there is a high chance of bacterial life in Venus. But as of now, we haven't found traces of life on any other planets. But what about the other parts of the Milky Way galaxies or other galaxies or even the universe? You might have seen pictures like this saying that this is the Milky Way galaxy. Well, this is the Milky Way galaxy, but it is only a part of the Milky Way galaxy. That is because we are on the Milky Way galaxy so that we cannot see it fully. This is what the Milky Way galaxy looks like and do you know where we are? We are here, that small part which is barely visible in the solar system. Our sun is actually a star. There are billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxies and each stars are surrounded by planets just like in our solar system. Don't you think that there might be at least one planet that may have life in it? Scientists and astronomers are trying for years to answer to this question. But it is so difficult to find intelligent life on other planets. This is because of the sheer size of our galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy is 1 lakh light years or 1 quintillion kilometers long. That is 1 followed by 18 zeros. Even something as fast as light takes 1 lakh years to travel from one end of the Milky Way to the other end. That is a lot of time. We cannot simply travel to other solar system in a spacecraft. It's just mind-blowing to think about the size of the Milky Way galaxies. But do you know what is even more confusing? There are billions of galaxies. Each galaxy is with billions of stars. We don't know where the universe begins and ends. There are billions of planets and any one of this or millions of it has intelligent lives on it, just like ours. This picture of planet Earth was taken on February 14, 1990 by a Voyager 1 space probe from a record distance of about 6 billion kilometers. Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives, the aggregate of our joy and sufferings, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economics doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couples in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, Every corrupt politicians, every superstars, every supreme leaders, every saints and sinner in the history of a species lived there on a spot of dust suspended in the sunbeam.